Okay, so we just saw git restore. Now we're moving on to a similar sounding command, which is git reset. The git reset command will reset a repository back to some particular commit. So if we're working on, let's say the master branch, uh, and then I realize that the last three commits that I've made were not supposed to be on the master branch, I screwed that up and I wanted to put them on a different branch and I want to remove them from master, I can do that. I undo those commits using git reset. And there's two flavors, two varieties I'll show you. There's regular reset and then a hard reset. And we're gonna start with, I guess, the plain old regular reset. I don't know if anyone calls it that, but that's what I'll call it, plain reset. Uh, it looks like this, git reset and then a commit hash. And this will reset our repository back to whatever that commit hash is. Let me demonstrate this uh, with our really boring <laughs> cat dog first, second, third, fourth commit. Uh, I'm gonna go, let's delete this secrets file just to make our lives easier. Okay, so it's gone. Uh, let's make uh, a mistake or do something in here that we just want to undo. Let's say it's that. And then this one over here, I delete that. And then I'm gonna save this. And then I'm gonna make a commit accidentally, which I'm doing on purpose, but we'll pretend I don't actually want this commit. Get commit dash M mistake commit. Okay, so here's what we have now. First, second, third, fourth, and then mistake commit. And you can see, you know, I added those two lines and then I deleted this in the dog file. Um, anyway, we've screwed it up. And maybe I do one more commit that's even a, a further mistake. Why don't I, uh, I don't know, add a happy face. Same thing over here. Git add dot, git commit dash M, another mistake or another bad commit. Okay, so now I can use the git reset command if I find a commit I wanna go back to. So git log, let's just do one line. If I wanna go back to fourth commit, I can reference this particular commit hash. Or this is the first seven digits. Copy that and then git reset and that hash, just like this. And what happened? Well, you might think those changes are gone but they're actually not. Those changes are still here. Doesn't that seem like they should be reset? No, because all that we did was perform a basic or a plain reset and that removed the commits, but the changes are still in our working directory. So I can get rid of those changes and I can you know, undo stuff in my local files, but all that we did right now was tell Git to get rid of some commits. Go back to this last commit. That, uh, what was it, 4661. So in Git's mind, that's where the history stops. There is no commit after that, right? Git log, I'll just do one line again. That's the last commit it has, but it kept those changes in our working directory. So here's a diagram to show that. Let's say we make a commit and we realize, ah, we don't want that commit. So to undo it, if we use git reset and a commit hash to go back to this one, those changes are still in our working directory. We don't lose the changes, we lose the commits. However many commits there were between head all the way back to this commit, it just happened to be one. So in our case, we undid two commits over here, right? There were two commits, one was mistake and the second was called bad commit, I think, but we still have the changes. This can be useful if you make some commits on the wrong branch. You wanna keep that work, but move it to another branch. So we reset, right? We lost those commits on the master branch, but now I could take these changes with me and make a new branch, get switch, switch dash C, um, you know, I don't know, bad stuff. And on here, I can add and commit those changes. Get add dot, get commit, add bad stuff. I don't know, it's stupid. Uh, so now I have this branch that I've made that has you know, these mistakes, the stuff that I presumably don't want. And now I can go back to master and things are how we want them to be on master. So I took those changes with me over to the new branch. I added and committed them on the new branch and then went back to master without those changes. Okay, so hopefully that was clear. Uh, reset, get reset with a commit hash, removes the commits but it does not remove the changes from your working directory. So you don't lose that work, you lose the commits. The alternative is a hard reset, which is the same command, but with dash dash hard. 
And when we do a git reset dash dash hard with a commit hash, what will actually happen is that we lose the, con the commits, git undoes the commits up to this commit hash, and the changes are removed from our working directory. So if you like absolutely know you wanna get rid of some work and get rid of the corresponding commits, you can use dash dash hard. So you can reference the commit hash or you can do things like, you know, we've already seen head tilde one or tilde two to go back relative to where head is. So on a diagram, if I wanted to undo this and get rid of those changes, git reset dash dash hard, the commit hash that we're going back to, those changes, are gone. So I'll do a quick demo of that. Uh, let's go back, I guess, let's go back to master, git switch master, and let's make another bad change. So we'll delete two of those in dog, and then we'll add a bunch of stuff in cat again. All right, and then I'm gonna add and commit that on master. Git commit, undo this commit, please. Okay. So a regular git reset, as we saw, would uh, keep these changes in our directory, but it would remove a commit. I am going to undo that last commit. So git log, let's just get the commit hash. I'll go back, maybe I'll go back to this one, third commit. So that means I will lose this commit and this commit, and I'll lose the, the corresponding changes I made in both of them. So you wanna be careful with this, obviously. <laughs> uh, you don't wanna go around just resetting hard all the time, but I'm gonna do it here. So git reset dash dash hard commit hash. One more time, this is what we're looking at. Undo this commit, please, on master, fourth commit, third, second, and so on. Here we go. Okay, it says head is now at this third commit. As you can see, here's master. We no longer have that commit on master branch. We lost two commits on the master branch, one line. Now we just have three. And in my files, they both are reset back to what they looked like. They have the same contents that they did when we made this third commit. We reset them back. Okay, so that's kind of all there is for that. Uh, I mean, I guess I should mention, right, this is on a per branch basis. So if we go back to my diagram, we still have that fourth commit over on bad stuff. It's not like we remove this commit from every branch ever that, that knows about that commit. Uh, it's still there if I go to bad stuff, git switch, bad stuff, do a git log, we still see fourth commit. Anyway, so that's reset and reset hard.